First of all, we will give thanks to the entire team of International Rotary Institute here. And I know it is a great festivity and a great moment for all of you to interact with each other and share your experiences. And I wonder if you are called a man from the entertainment world called Squash Kashi. For what reason? I'm yet to discover. But I'm sure that you would like to share my experiences as movie making. That how we go through and what kind of build up and elements are in filmmaking. My special thank to the RA president, uh, Jennifer Jonesy, our Shikhar Mepaji, and Mr. Vaghi, and everyone here. Now what I would like to say is, what you have seen, it was more of an ad, ad film for any promotional film for a filmmaker. But nobody has seen the struggles behind it. Nobody has seen the failure behind it. Nobody has seen the agonies behind it. It's good to know that you are successful today in, in your own way. But I must share with you some stories. Uh, can I go there? Is it okay? Yeah. Yes, yeah. How do I start? A movie maker of India. A movie maker from Mumbai Film Industries, Hindi Sama. Who had never seen Mumbai, who was a boy, a simple boy from Delhi, his father was a doctor. He was aspiring to become an artist and he was aspiring to become a cinema artist. My father never wanted me to join this industry. He never wanted me to be a filmmaker. He wanted me to be a charity doctor. And I was very disheartened in my childhood, in my college days. But one day my principal of my college told my father that you will be doing unjust to your son if you are not sending him to Mumbai, a movie industry, because he belongs to there only and I have seen his plays and writing part of it. My father was shocked because I had never shared with him that I won so many good values or trophies. But he told me one thing that if you want to go to Mumbai to become a filmmaker, a film artist, you should go for the training institute. And he sent me to FDI, Pune Film Institute of India. Here I would like to share with you all education is mostly I share. The formal education is important, but the more important in life is a self-education. No institute, no university can guarantee you what you will become. Today you are here successful people gathering together. You have made a mark for yourself and you are contributing so much for the society. So that is why you are esteemed citizens of the nation who serve all over the world and who serve every kind of society whenever it is easy. So you are above all those normal citizens and I must say I must salute you. But I am sure that you must be having your own stories also to look up to. So when I joined film school, I joined as an actor because they gave me the admission only in acting. But when I say self-education, self-education means that I am here 
I'm so much learning from you too. I'm learning from the ambience, I'm learning from the third person, I'm learning from the smallest persons, from the bigger persons, from senior persons. I'm alert all the time where I can learn more. And when I came to Bombay, I was an actor. I didn't like acting. I started writing stories. And trust me or not, that I really discovered that I can write better stories. Why? Because when I narrated one story to one of my colleagues, he narrated to one of the top producers, Prakash Mehra, and he wanted the story for his film. And I just narrated my story. He said, well, I want this story to make a film. And everybody is shocked that how can I write it? Script, I'm an actor. But I discovered myself, I rediscovered myself, and to my surprise, I saw that top six directors of Bollywood, they called me to narrate other story, and I narrated some other story to all of them, and all of them signed me within one year, I was the script writer for the soft top six directors. So you have to rediscover yourself. Your children must allow them to rediscover. Never tell them, never force them, your children, that you have to be this. If you ask them to fly or ask them to fly, they will fly. They are very on. They should have passion. That's very, very important. And the next step which I want to share is when I became a script writer, story writer for the six top directors, I used to tell two stories to them and they would select one and reject the other one. And that rejected story continuously rejected by the six directors. I will tell you the name later on. <laughs> this rejected story was appreciated by one of the top producer only, only producer. And when he heard the story, he said, what is this? I told him, sir, this has been a rejected story, but uh, whether should I tell you or not, I don't know. He said, no, no, tell me. When I told, told him about the rejected story, the rejected story, he said, well, we can make this. This is a good story. And then, after some days, he said, why don't you direct this film? I said, I'm not a director. I'm just a writer or an actor. He says, no, the way you direct the story, I can see the film. And that film name was Kali Chai. Wow. The Kali Chai was my first film which became a big hit on the screen. When I told him that I don't know I don't know how to direct, he said, don't worry. We will provide you all facilities, all the technicians. And there I decided one thing, that I am going to learn from each and every technician. This is my other class, other standard where I have been imposed. You trust me or not, the first thing I told him, Sir, can I ask you a favor? What? He says, I want two senior script writers with me. He says, what? You have narrated me the whole script with editing pattern, with the soundtrack, with, with the beginning and dialogues. Why do you want writers? I says, because sir, you have made me a director. Now I am going to be a part of it. I am going to be a man of my own. I need two writers to check me where I go wrong as a director. And he permitted me. When I went to the cameraman, I told the cameraman I do not know how to put lenses, how to do the lighting. He said, don't worry. So I used to tell him, well, this is close up, this is mid shot, and this is long shot. This was my language to him, it's a huge language to him. But it's funny, and I said, let's not share with the stars. Because once stars come to know, they are going to haunt. But then 
then gradually I started learning from the sound recordings, from the editors, from the costume people, from the production people. Kalichan was my classroom for me. It was not that I became a filmmaker because it was a hit. It was a class. Every day I would ask them questions. I respected everyone. I became a likable boy. They wanted it because I knew the story, I had the vision, but I did not know how to execute it. So I, when the picture was released, I was shocked to read from the critics, the ordinary critics, that this is one of the finest, this is one of the fine, technically attained, achieved film we have seen in a long time. But I had gone through day and night, sleepless night. I wanted to make it, I wanted to make it. And while learning process, I went on accepting the things. I made two uh, films, Kalichar and Mishra, the crime thrillers. And somebody told me that, well, you can make crime thrillers, but you cannot make a musical. I said, oh, the music has been always with me. And he says, music, I cannot make music. And those were the top distributors who, who told me this. And I took it to my heart. And I said, well, this time I am going to make a musical. And I designed a film on a reincarnation, a murder mystery. And I went to my composer that this is a script I have, which is a musical script. And that film name was Garis. And I'm amazed that even today, when I go to somebody's house, their children, 10 years, 6 years, 12 years, they play the tune of curse after 40 years. I made this in 1980. So I feel so gratified that that film is still remembered as one of the premier classic films today, as a musical film. Now if I go, Think of all those memories. I remember how many people you have seen cars. Please raise your hands so that I can know. All of them. Most of them. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. So, do you remember the theme music, theme tune of cars? So we are improvising. He 
he's shocked. What kind of business he is? He doesn't tell me anything. And he plays his fingers and says, no, no, you play. Now the tune was... It's very difficult to be 
हिट म्यूजिक तो मिल जाता है बहुत लोगों को मिलता है लेकिन वो स्क्रीन में नहीं आ पाता वो ऑडियो में चला जाता है उसके लिए आपको स्क्रीन में लीव करना पड़ता है आई वॉन्ट टू शो यू विद फिलिप्स ऑफ एडवाइस विच विल रिमाइंड यू हाउ दिस ट्यूल वॉज फाइनली वॉज ट्रांसमिटेड इन टू ए स्टोरी ए सॉन्ग इन द क्लाइमेक्स ए बी वन फिलिंग्स
I will tell you the story first. I had conceived a story in writing, I was writing a script and I was traveling through Mount Abu to find my locations for my next picture. And I stopped my car, I asked my driver to stop it and bring one cold drink from the next shop on the road. So he went there for a cold drink from Okola living here. So when he went near the shop, there was a small boy near the car, standing with me and playing his small, small street violin. The Buddha was there. And what was he playing? My driver came back. I asked him. Uh, when he saw me, then he picked up ten rupees note and gave it to that boy. He says, No, no, sir, if you want one rupee, I will have a change with me. I says, No, let's carry on. On the way, the driver asked me, May I ask you, sir, why did you pay ten rupees when the when boy deserves only one rupee? Or children. I says, my friend, you don't know. I am going to make a lakh sort of things out of this ten rupees. I went to my music composer Lakshmi Shankar Elal and I said, and I said, I have heard a beautiful notes. So can we come compose this song? He says, yeah, it sounds good. He started playing his harmonium, he improvised on it. He did. They are excellent composers. I went to Madhuri Dixit for a lunch on the same day. And I said, to him, Well, we are trying to compose the song with Lakshmi Ganparela. This is the tune. And during the lunch, I was playing some tune. And I said, Can you do me a favor, Madhuri? He said, What? I said, when I play, you, know, you just say one word. He says, okay, so I will play. I said, you play. In the evening, I went to the photo again. I said, what we do? We're going to do this. This is what? And the song was, Jolie Pien Piche Jai, Jolie Pien Piche Jai. Don't be shy. Don't be shy about it. Yes. And that song became so big hit that the very first week there was a one crore castle was sold in all over India. The first time we history of all. So it's three boy gave me that super hit song. Not big this is, I would say. So you have to learn from every corner. You have to be alert. Who gives you what you do not know about it. And then when the song was being pictured, we were happy. But when the song was released, there was again a debate on the song. There was a lot of controversy of the song. So I would like to show you the glimpse how did we shoot with Madhuri and Madhuri really worked very hard to do the song. But there was other girl called uh, Nina Gupta, who was playing the senior dancers by and she is known to dance. And very first day, mom became ill and I went there. So many dancers in front of me and I said, hey, Saros, let's do one thing. Let's start the shooting with this senior lady, Nina Gupta. And Nina Gupta came and she said, I don't know dance. <laughs> I said, can we do it? Okay. Now, when you face a crisis, immediately God helps you. I said, Saroj, let us not make her dance. Because she doesn't know dance. Let us make, let her make faces. <laughs> You remember? 
And I must show, I, I have some footage of Suri of uh, this song. Can you play this a little, please? Yeah. Small room that time it was. 
And he said, okay, I will compose tune for it, Mr. Dad. And see which tune you select. I said, okay. Then he disappears. When he comes in the studio, he disappears. Comes to the studio, he disappears. <coughs> then he left some tunes on the tape recorder. And when he heard it, I said, I'm dead. Why?
stories of mine I want to share with you, I have been sharing with you. And it was, now it looks so beautiful to remember all this, but how task, tedious task it was, I only know it. And you can see that how we could do that. Everybody said, everybody gives me a compliment that you show your heroes very beautiful on the screen. I said, because for me, heroes are beautiful. They should be shown beautiful. And I remember when I casted her, Ashura, that time she was known as the Miss World. She belonged to a model world, a cosmetic world, and she was extremely beautiful, gorgeous uh, lady, and trying to enter into movies. But the movies were not her forte that time. And she learned, she was a great student herself. She learned gradually, one by one. And I remember that when I casted her for this film, because she was a good dancer, a good looking woman. And I said, listen, Ash, my character in the bar says that you are a very non glamorous girl. Enter into the world of showbiz later on in the second half of the movie. But I have to destroy your image of Miss World and a cosmetic girl of Zenith as you are known as the, at the moment. And I engaged that time one of the most expensive makeup men. Makeup man name was Vicky Contract. And he was really, really, very expensive to hire for the budget we had. And he called me and I said, well, you are going to do makeup of my heroine, Ashura, and I am going to pay you whatever you want. But I want to pay you for not doing the makeup. <laughs> you will not do the makeup on my heroine. Till I tell you. He says, I know you, Mr. Guy. You are paying me so much money for not doing the makeup. It's more tedious for me than doing the makeup. <laughs> and I told him that my movie belongs to seven steps. Tal. It starts with the picture, it starts with the ghada, the gatam, the tabla, the dhola, the ectopad, the timpani. All those rhythms also take place from chapter after every 20 minutes it changes. So that's the hero, face of the heroine also changes. When she enters, she is a very divine girl in the beginning from the mountains. And she reaches to a big town, glamorous town, town and she becomes, she enters into world competition. She goes to Toronto to perform her show. So we will, we will not do the music. And I want to tell you that how makeup is important. What makeup is also important for the director to look at each face, each detail of her hairstyle, her eyebrows, her lipstick, her base. Yeetna detail tak jana karta hai, toh dhyan rakhi ki director ka hi kaam hota hai. एक्टर का तो होता ही है, वो भी कंट्रीब्यूट करते हैं बहुत, लेकिन एक्टर हाउस का एक्टर हाउस का सुखी, सो दैट इट स्टोरी गोस विद द कैरेक्टर एंड हर कैरेक्टर ग्रोस वन बाय वन, सो आई वांट टू शो यू द ग्लिम्स हाउ वी डिवाइडेड हर मेकअप फ्रॉम स्टेज टू स्टेज, कैन यू प्ले द एवी मानसिस मेकअप
show that you would have been appreciated now that makeup matters a lot uh, in movies. So these are my experiences I share with you a few because we have a limited time otherwise we go on till night and we will not have a dinner. <laughs>